This video is the first of a series that looks at planning appeal decisions for householder applications related to permitted development. A lot of these decisions hinge on which elevation of the house is the principal elevation. Let's start with the basics. What's an elevation? The planning inspector Susan Wraith says an elevation is a projection of the dwelling house from any particular side on a vertical plane. So what's the principal elevation? Technical guidance says in most cases the principal elevation will be that part of the house which fronts the main highway serving the house. It will usually contain the main architectural features such as main bay windows or a porch serving the main entrance. But when you have to decide between this and this, different planning inspectors have different ideas about which elevation is the principal elevation. Let's look at three cases where the householder wanted a dormer window on an existing roof slope. This is a detached house at the corner of two roads. Ignore the dormers that you can see in the photo as that they were, there were none at the time of the application. Here, the appellant applied for a Lawful Development Certificate, or an LDC, to add a dormer window on a side elevation. This is a front projection of the house, or front elevation. This is a side elevation of the house. Which one of these do you think is the principal elevation? The inspector said, the elevation of the house facing the main highway contains the main architectural features, including the front entrance porch and the projecting gable with, way, uh, with bay windows. The access from the road is on this frontage and it is clearly understood as being the front of the house. It should be regarded as the principal elevation, while that onto the road is very much subsidiary. That sounds straightforward. Let's switch to a 3D model to get a clearer look. Here's a perspective view, a side elevation and the front elevation, which has been declared to be the principal elevation. Let's color the walls and roofs that form the principal elevation. You can add dormer windows under Class B of the Permitted Development Order as long as they are not beyond the plane of any existing roof slope which forms the principal elevation of the dwelling house and fronts a highway. There are two roof slopes which form the principal elevation of this dwelling house and which also front a highway. This one and this one. Let's add some dormer windows. Which of these would be allowable under permitted development, do you think? What do you think? Answers welcomed in the comments below. If you're not too sure, there's a clue in the last example in this video. In this case, the appellant applied for an LDC for the installation of a dormer window on the main roof slope here. The application was refused. It's obvious that the principal elevation is the front elevation. Within the principal elevation, there's only one roof slope that is fronting the main highway, and that's this one. If the dormer is placed here, it's in front of the plane of the roof slope. The appeal was dismissed. In this case, the appellant applied for an LDC for the installation of a dormer window on this roof slope here. The application was refused. It's obvious that the principal elevation is the front elevation. Let's switch to 3D. Within the principal elevation, there's only one roof slope that is fronting the main highway, and that's this one. This is the dormer required by the appellant and this is the plane of the roof slope. As you can see, the dormer is in front of the plane of the roof slope. 
There's sometimes a misunderstanding about this rule, thinking that the exclusion only applies if the dormer is on the roof slope, forming the principal elevation. This is not the case. The appeal was dismissed. Don't forget to tell me your answer to the first case in the comments below. And if you're thinking of pressing like or subscribe, thank you. Next week, I'm looking at appeal decisions relating to hip to gable roof conversions. Thanks for watching. See you next week.